And good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Ramiro with your FastCast digital headlines for this Friday, November 1st, taking a look at today's top stories that we are following. One that we are closely looking at and we'll have more coverage on later today. The Anchorage School District is searching for ways to solve what it is called pressing needs and changing dynamics. The district says school enrollment numbers are just one reason why it's considering closing or combining schools after it saw a 13 percent drop in students in the last decade. School officials are calling it a right sizing initiative. Families are waiting to see if their school could be on the list that the district is considering. It is expected to come out this afternoon. We'll be sure to update you. So keep it to Alaska's news source for the latest. We have to get clear as a community about what our priorities are. If our standards generally prevent us from building housing, they're not serving us. Anchorage has a housing crisis during this week's Home Builders Association Economic Summit. There was a fam familiar message, the need for more housing. Right now they say Anchorage homes continue to be 35% more expensive than they were before February of 2020 and on top of high interest rates. Mayor Suzanne LaFrance says her administration's goal is to help with costs by speeding up permitting and simpl simplifying building rules so 1,000 new homes can be built every year. This year, LaFrance says less than 200 homes will be built, but that's not the only focus. Here's someone from the National Association of Home Builders. Because the demographics really is a primary driver for the housing market, and you need to be able to retain and attract people uh, to be able to do that. But the good news is the labor market looks like it has recovered in Anchorage, uh, but the housing market is being challenged just because of the, the conditions that we are in when we think of the macro environment. And early and absentee in-person voting is open in the Division of Elections says we are seeing a high level of voter participation already. The latest numbers show more than 80,000 ballots have been received. That's including more than 45,000 early votes and nearly 28,000 mail-in or absentee votes. Now, if you do decide to vote in person next Tuesday, expect some long lines and remember what they call the three P's. That's come prepared, bring your patience and also be polite. And it is that time of year to talk fall back and get that extra hour of sleep. Daylight saving time, it ends this weekend on Sunday at 2 a.m. It runs from the second Sunday in March to the first Sunday in November. The idea has been to maximize use of more daylight hours in the spring and summer and save on energy consumption. Lawmakers at all levels have pushed to make daylight saving time permanent. The Senate in 2022 approved a measure, but the bill never came to vote in the House. And those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Friday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.